In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to backup restore on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account, and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan. And it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain by clicking at this domains option right here. And of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from and from there you can start and create your account with that way also so for me i'm just going to click at login which will log in into my account directly because i already logged in into my account in this pc and this is going to be my screen once i logged in into my account so as we said in the beginning of this tutorial we would like to backup restore and of course if you want to do that we can simply go and click on advanced button or option in this left panel which will take us to the cpanel here scroll down until you find this files option click on file manager and once you're here you'll find all the files that you have here of course in your file manager if you want to backup your restore a file let's say as an example you deleted this uh, by mistake of course once you delete it you can actually click at this view trust option and for me this directory is empty so let's just go back and delete something let's just delete this as an example uh, of course make sure if you like already checked this button while you're deleting something you cannot back it up and because that will skip the trash and permanently delete, permanently delete it for me i don't want to check this so now if i click at view trash as you can see i find i will find this here so simply one once i click here i'll be able to click at restore and click at restore files and that will actually restore the files or backup restore the files for me so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching goodbye